Here's a secret that other designers might not be telling you. Most experienced designers have a list of go-to questions that they tend to ask users throughout the life cycle of a design project. And today I will be sharing mine. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I have a bonus for you. The design process can easily be broken down into five main phases. You have to understand or empathize, you have the define phase, you have the ideate, you have the build or develop, and you have the test phase. But today I will be consolidating this down to three main phases, which are discovery, build, and validate. The discovery phase is focused on expanding one's knowledge of the user problem and building empathy for the user. During this phase, it is likely that you'll be conducting user and stakeholder interviews. And here are some of my go-to sample questions that I like to ask. What is the business problem we're trying to solve? It's super important. Who is affected within the organization by this business problem? Why is this business problem important or a high priority right now? What is your role in the project? What concerns and hopes do you have for this project? What do you expect as an outcome of a project? What are some constraints about the project that I need to be aware of as a designer. Could you share a list of competitors who you think have solved this problem well enough um, that we might be missing certain aspects? How would you define success? This is super, super important. Who are you solving this problem for? Who else should I talk to to understand the problem space and can you provide and can provide more feedback? What level of involvement should I expect from you? What level of updates should I expect from should you expect from me? So some of those questions are centered around who, what, and what other alternatives are out there that you've seen that are actually doing this well? Can we take a look at them? And then also what level of involvement should I expect from the stakeholder and should the stakeholder also expect from me and let us define what success looks like. So those are the type of questions that I tend to ask when I'm doing stakeholder interviews. Now transitioning to the users, the following are a list of questions that I like to ask. So tell me about what your day-to-day -day looks like. Walk me through how you would perform a certain action. What is your ideal workflow? What workarounds have you created to make the product work for you? What do you like about your current workflow? What do you dislike about your current workflow? Have you used other products to try and solve the pain point? If so, what products and why those specific products? If you could change one thing, what is it that you would change to make it easier for you to use our product instead of what you're using right now? How often do you perform a certain task? How much time do you spend performing a certain task? Uh, how do you currently perform, insert whatever task name uh, that is? These questions are kind of centered around, it's a mix of discovery questions as well as uh, usability testing type questions where we're focused on the user, the environment, how they see our product, how they perceive it, it what alternatives and workarounds they've created, what is that one thing that uh, if we solve for today will convince them to use our product, that is kind of like your um, your key to know this is that one thing that we should that's really really important to this user and if we solve it that user could potentially become a fan and be willing to pay top dollar for us to solve it so and even though this is discovery phase you could be running discovery exercises on an existing product or just a product idea Next, the build phase. This phase is focused on creating a prototype based on outcome of the discovery phase. In this phase, you should already have a prototype and are likely going to be on the lookout for some type of usability issues. So here are some of the questions that I like to ask. What do you love or hate about this particular workflow, this particular product, this particular interaction? What pain points do you experience from your interaction with the prototype? In what ways would you say the prototype has addressed or did not address your initial concerns? What is missing from this prototype that would make the workflow easier for you? How do you foresee this prototype getting incorporated into your day-to-day -day workflow? What is the first thing you're likely to do based off of what you see right now on your screen? After looking around the prototype, what do you think it is for? 
walk me through how you would perform insert specific action and then a follow-up that i like to ask um, how easy or how hard or how difficult or how unclear uh, this particular task was for you if you did you know perform this task how would this affect your workflow and then other things that may come up around observation it's like i noticed you did x when i asked for this how did that make you feel if you have a magical wand what's the first thing you would fix so as you, if you notice some of those questions are kind of centered around scenarios or workflows um, when it comes to the prototype that you've built so, and then walking users through that and or letting them walk you through uh, and uncover some of those usability issues that might be hidden uh, within your prototype to help them uh, to help uncover more user pain points that you may not have known if you didn't ask those questions. And a lot of those questions tend to be open-ended uh, to create more conversation as opposed to yes or no. So next, the validation phase. By now, you should have a live product that users are using and potentially have some analytic tool that has been installed and you're tracking some of that data. Now in this phase, I'm typically focused on product improvement type questions and exploring new opportunities. So here are my go-to questions. While you're going about your day, you notice X happen. What's the first thing you would do? Talk me through your process. Tell me about the last time when you performed a uh, and insert whatever specific action it is there. As you were deciding what product to use to do X task, what made you choose this product? Since using product for X amount of time, what features do you find valuable and why? And on the flip side of this question, uh, since using product X for X amount of time, what features are you at least desirable for you and why? Now, how would you describe your overall experience with the product? What would you expect to see in the future? Product iteration, why is that important to you? How would you rate your overall experience with the product on a scale of one to five, for example, and five being the best and one being the worst experience? And then follow-up questions to that is typically, why did you rate your experience, whatever score it was? If it's not a five, if it's not great, I like to ask, what is that one thing that we can do to bring it up to a five? What parts of the product do you use the most and why? Uh, tell me about a time when you were trying to navigate a task, but the wording or the navigation seemed confusing. And then what did I miss or did not ask that is important to you and your team about our product? You may notice that the questions here are a mix of scenario-based questions and exploratory type questions. This is not by any means an exhaustive list, but it should get you started on a great path to solving business problems. As promised, here is the bonus and thank you for sticking to the end. I have put together all of those questions that you found here into a downloadable file for you. So I have a link in the description box that you can check out. Uh, this should make it easier for you to get started. So that's it. Those are my four to five go-to questions that I like to ask uh, users and stakeholders when building a product. If you have learned something new, share the knowledge with others by hitting that share button. If you're interested in more content like this, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and join the channel by subscribing and tapping on the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. See you in the next one.